Hi, everyone. Welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new demo I've never tried before called Ocean Rift. This is basically a demo where you get to be underwater and um, just check out what's going down on the surface of the sea. Um, it's created by a Welsh developer uh, named Lear App Kenneth. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, here I am under the sea. Got my headphones on. Yep, everything looks good. Looks like I'm standing in front of some coral. It's just waving in the current. And if I look up, I could see sunlight streaming down from the surface. The surface has this kind of wavy texture going on with it. Makes it look like it's really some water up there. And I got these bubbles right in front of my face and the stereoscopic depth effect with them is really strong. I feel like I'm like able to reach up and grab them right in front of my face here. Much closer than anything else in the scene. There's a shark, so I'm using my WSD keys to move here. I'll go up and see if I can get a little closer to this shark and check it out. Hey shark! Who else lives down here? So there's that guy. I think I'll take a walk over here. So when I walk on these rocks, I automatically climb them. I'm apparently like super good at climbing rocks underwater. It's a little bit unnatural. I wonder if I can get out of the water. Can I like go over here and just climb all the way out of the water? Going up, going up. Um, so apparently the surface of the water doesn't uh, show up on the other side, so that's kind of weird. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I'm gonna go back under. There we go. Hey, little shark guy. You're a cute little shark, aren't you? It's a baby shark. Maybe it's just a smaller shark. I don't know. Let's go over this way. I'm gonna follow this little canyon here. Or chasm, or whatever it is. Check out some of these plants. Some of these plants, I keep wishing, like, those little, like, leafy plants there, I wish I could, like, lean down and get a closer look at them. But because the rift doesn't have positional tracking, when I lean down, it actually gets farther away. So, when that's added, that'll make it a lot more natural to, like, lean in and get a closer look at things. Let me see. What else is there to see here? There's that light. Oh my gosh, fishies. It's like a little school of fish and they're darting all over the place. They're so tiny. Look at them. Hello fish. Hi fish. Swimming all over. They're almost swimming right around my head. You gotta be careful. There's sharks out here, little fishies. You guys are gonna get eaten. Well, I guess they have strength in numbers. Like if the shark shows up, they can all split really fast. So there's some really strong stereoscopic 3D effects looking up at the bubbles and the school of fish and the water behind it and the streams of light coming down. So this is a really great demo just for showing how compelling the stereoscopic 3D effect of the rift can be. And I have a boat here, some kind of shipwreck. It's got a little rowing thing, so I guess it was a rowboat. Not sure how it sunk, maybe it just like had a hole in it. Oh, it looks like there's another shipwreck over there. So let's go check that out. Can I go inside this one? It looks like kind of a cage. It's just the frame of the ship and it somehow got upside down. Can I go? Oh, I can't go inside. It won't let me. That's cool. You know, one of the weird things about um, the Rift is because you have that stereoscopic 3D vision, when you get really close to a texture like this, you can tell that it's perfectly flat. And even though the texture looks like it shouldn't be flat, it looks like somebody just painted that texture on, or it's like some kind of plastic layer. And um, 
to, to make this really work better, I think it would be nice if they had like 3D stereoscopic bump maps so that as you move your head around, it actually looks like a rough surface. I think that would make it more compelling when you're really close up against it like this. Hey, shark. Oh, you're changing course. It's a little unnatural how it swims when it turns like that. Not quite the best animation. Oh my gosh, a whale. Oh my gosh, the whale is so big. What up, whale? It's making whale sounds. Whoa. The thing is like the size of an elephant or something. That is a big whale. Wow. wow. Okay. I guess now I will go through this arch here. See if there's anything on the other side. There's some light filtering down from the surface down there. So I'll take a little dive, see what's in this chasm. Possibly something cool. It's getting rapidly darker as I descend really far down here. I guess it's like it would be in real life as you get farther from the surface under the sea it gets darker because the light doesn't penetrate as far. And if we could feel heat and cold, which would be kind of cool, then we would be able to feel it's pretty cold down here too, colder than it is near the surface. I see something up ahead. It's hard to see because it's kind of dark. It looks like, I think it's a steam vent. Also why did the music just start? Is that music for the steam vent? Let's take a closer look at it. Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. Whoa. Oh god! Oh, Jesus, fuck! Oh! Okay, so that was a shark and it was eating me. And that wasn't fun. The other sharks didn't try to eat me. Yeah, <laughs> so... Um, so when a... It ran at me like that and it pushed me back. When you get pushed back in the rift forcefully like that, it really feels like someone like walked up to you and pushed you in the chest. And, and that can make you feel so much more involved in the action than you would in a normal game. In fact, it can get to the point where you're like, like I'm afraid to even go down there with that shark again because I don't want it to be assaulting me. Um... So I I'm actually going to get out of this game for now. Back to the safety of reality. Um, I think this game does a lot of things well. Um, it does a great job of making that last surprise look really intense and make you really feel it. Um, it does a, a pretty good job of simulating an underwater environment. Everything feels a little floaty. You feel like there's currents. You can kind of hear it flowing around you. Um, and, um, I mean, all the animals have great models. They look like you expect the animals to look. They don't really move very convincingly. Um, and you don't get kind of under real water. You kind of get, there's more floating things coming down. There's like some particles in this, but there's not a lot of the kind of debris you see in a real ocean. The algae and the plankton and the and the dirt and and all that other stuff. Um I, I liked how they made it have the streams of light, how it got darker as you got farther down. Um I I think underwater experiences like this one, like it could not only be just a great way to explore underwater habitats and to learn about aquatic animals, but it could also be just a great, um, you could base all kinds of games off of this. You could have um, experiences in which you, um, in which you're ex uh, doing some cooperative task with other players under the ocean, maybe building something, maybe recovering a wreck, maybe you're operating an underwater robot to explore a wreck. Um, it could be just, uh, part of a, a game in which we, which is mostly on land, but sometimes you go underwater to like find treasure or something. Um, maybe, for example, like in Ocarina of Time when you have the the um, the metal boots. Um, overall, I think this is a, a really great example, a first take of doing underwater on the Rift, and I think we'll see some even more convincing underwater experiences in the future. 
and it's certainly a, a lot easier to get into than having to get your scuba license and get down there that way. So, and certainly a lot less risky. So, um, I am pretty excited about this kind of experience. And that's all for now. I will see you guys next time, and have a great every day.